An automotive battery is a device that stores and produces electrical energy through electrochemical processes. These processes involve chemical reactions between different materials in a solution, generating direct current electricity. When connected to a load, such as a starter motor, the battery converts its stored energy into electrical current. Discharging the battery releases this stored energy, while charging it reverses the process, converting electrical energy back into chemical energy for future use. The automotive battery serves as a crucial component in a vehicle's electrical system, powers the starting motor, ignition system, electronic fuel injection, and other essential electrical devices during cranking and starting. When the engine is not running or the charging system malfunctions, the battery supplies all the necessary electrical power for the vehicle's accessories. Additionally, it provides current for a limited time during periods of high electrical demand that exceed the charging system's output. Moreover, the battery acts as a voltage stabilizer for the entire automotive electrical system, ensuring consistent and reliable power delivery. Lastly, it stores energy for extended periods, guaranteeing a reliable power source even in challenging conditions. The battery does not store energy in electrical form. The battery stores energy in chemical form. The battery's peak demand occurs when powering the starter motor, which can require hundreds of amperes. Factors such as temperature, engine size, and engine condition influence this demand. After the engine starts, the vehicle's charging system replenishes the battery and powers the electrical system. Electrical demands on the battery continue even when the ignition switch is off. Key offloads include clocks, memory seats, engine computer memory, body computer memory, and electronic sound system memory. While the total current draw from these loads is typically less than 50 milliamperes, it can significantly drain the battery if the vehicle's charging system fails. The battery's ability to sustain this discharge depends on its capacity and the current draw. The conventional battery consists of seven essential components, which are positive plates, negative plates, separators, a case, plate straps, electrolyte, and terminals. Lead-acid battery plates are constructed with a grid made from a lead alloy containing antimony for strength. The grid has a frame structure with connector tabs at the top and consists of horizontal and vertical bars intersecting at right angles. An active material, made from ground lead oxide, acid, and material expanders, is pressed into the grid in paste form. A positive plate undergoes a forming charge to convert the lead oxide paste into lead peroxide, while the negative plate receives a forming charge to convert the paste into sponge lead. These plates can be either positive or negative, determining their role in the battery's electrochemical reaction. Lead acid battery cells are composed of alternating positive and negative plates separated by microporous material separators. Each cell typically contains between 9 and 13 plates. The construction is completed by connecting all positive plates together and all negative plates together using plate straps. A typical 12-volt automotive battery consists of six cells connected in series where the positive side of one cell is connected to the negative side of the next cell. This series connection maintains the same current capacity and cell voltage throughout all six cells. A typical 12-volt automotive battery consists of six cells connected in series, each producing 2.1 volts. This series connection results in a total voltage of 12.6 volts. The positive and negative plates within each cell are connected using plate straps. Cell connections can be made through the partition, over the partition, or externally. The cell elements are submerged in an electrolyte solution within a cell case. The electrolyte is a mixture of 64% water and 36% sulfuric acid by weight. It serves as a conductive and reactive medium within the battery. The battery case is typically made from polypropylene, hard rubber, or plastic, and must be resistant to temperature extremes, vibration, and acid absorption. The cell elements are supported on raised supports at the bottom of the case. The battery case is designed with chambers at the bottom to trap sediment that flakes off the plates. This is essential to prevent conductive connections that could short the cell. A one-piece cover seals the battery case. 
Conventional lead-acid batteries release hydrogen gas during charging. To manage this gas release, the case cover includes vents, typically located in the cell caps. A lead-acid battery is activated by adding electrolyte. The electrolyte facilitates chemical reactions between the lead peroxide on the positive plates and the sponge lead on the negative plates. The specific gravity of a battery can give you an indication of how charged a battery is. May can vary based on the battery's design and state of charge. It decreases as the battery discharges. Temperature also affects specific gravity measurements. The standard temperature for specifications is 27 degrees Celsius. Specific gravity is lower at temperatures above 27 degrees Celsius and higher below it. When we see lead-acid battery chemistry during discharge, the lead from the positive plate reacts with sulfate from the acid to form lead sulfate. Simultaneously, oxygen from the positive plate's active material combines with hydrogen from the electrolyte to create water, diluting the acid concentration. A similar reaction occurs at the negative plate, where lead also combines with sulfate to form lead sulfate. As a result of these reactions, both plates become identical, consisting primarily of lead sulfate, the charging cycle reverses these processes. Lead sulfate is converted back into lead and sulfate. Water in the electrolyte splits into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen combines with sulfate to regenerate sulfuric acid, and the oxygen combines with the positive plate to reform lead peroxide. This restores the original state of the plates and electrolyte, thus recharging the cell.